purpose of having a crew? The mm. purpose. The purpose for having, yeah. well, having a crew was it had to happen because what we saw from mm. what we saw from the movies like Star Wars, mm. Wild Star. It was all about a crew. It man. was about a crew because because <laughs> an individual person hitting down non-stop that this in them times new moves were new. You know what I mean? You couldn't you couldn't make up so much moves as like today's breaking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was innovating already. It was it was coming out. I mean, Rocksteady in Wild in Wild Star. I'm sure they were doing their moves and they yeah. were still expanding on adding yeah. because everybody they were specializing going. individual stuff exactly. do you know what i mean um, so this is a this is why a, a crew form mm. you know what i mean certain people were more um stronger enough in certain areas so this is how a crew come about and this is how we come about we just decided i mean it it's not that we, we decided to have a crew we were we were a, a crew already we were sort of like a one, a one unit already, do you know, and it's like um, when, when the breaking came in, it was just like a, um, a seal to keep us together and grow and, and, and be strong together, do you know what I mean? Um, having a crew in, in, a, in, a, in, in sort of like in the breakdancing days um, would give you the opportunity to sort of like um, battle with other crews, you know, not to say we were out looking for them. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it's just, it was just that sort of way, you know? I mean, there were times where just me and my brother or me and Clark or me and Paul would just be together and it's like uh, we'd see someone doing a bit of dancing and we'd, we'd join in as well, do you know what I mean? It weren't, it weren't like to sort of like say, um, we're battling you because we're better than you. It's just that, it's just the thing. You see, you see, see someone breaking, you want to join in, do you know what I mean? And having the crew was just like, um, we were tight. It was part of part of the, our, our time in those days to have the crew. Well, some people in B Boy, you didn't really have to be in a crew. But as I said, we was a crew before we knew about being a crew. It was like we were like seven kung fu brothers. Like in like there was one. There's a film out with um, that Sam Hung produced and directed and starred in called uh, Painted Faces, and it's a story about him and his kung fu brothers like Jackie Chan, Yun Bio and others when they went to their uh, Peking Shaolin Opera School and they had a crew and they were a family before before they got into the films so it was the same with us that's how stationers was and that's how we was every day camaraderie um, togetherness uh, yeah the, the real purpose for me of having a crew was camaraderie that's really why I was doing it um, there was always this feeling of uh, like making yourself better if you was like uh, training with a group of people. The other purpose, of course, was challenging, like I'm battling. And I used to watch a lot of those. Like um, the first battle I think I ever saw was Jedi's crew and fusion, the fusion, something like that. And that was in Tottenham. And that kind of paved the way to us kind of understanding what that was and how it worked, you know? It's like we went into a nightclub, although we were underage, we kind of went in there and watched this battle. And then from there, I kind of, I kind of knew one day we would start doing it. And we did. It was almost like we done law of attraction. Next thing you know, we were out there battling and, and that was good times, good times. So how many crews were there in, um, in the area? Uh, we was in, um, we was in Hornsey, there's another crew called Street Rockers. That's you lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, you know, uh, you was our neighbours, so we was always, we was grateful because we felt so sometimes alone during these starts. And when there was a, at least a crew who used to like us because of liking us, no haters. It was, it, was, it was a nice thing, it was a nice feeling. It is to protect each other in the battles, um, go out and battle, go to talk with thing, uh, talk to each other about like what um, we were doing. It was much better with a crew because an individual, you'd have to be really good. In hip hop, it's about, it's, it's, it deals with the individual, right? So one, and then, it, and then as well, you've grown up with people as well. Right, your neighborhood community, so you've got your friends and your spas and that. And so um, 
in the end, when you start dancing as well, it's good to share with people as well. You bounce off each other, energy off each other. So that's mm. one reason for having a crew, as well as when you go out, there's going to be other crews. Uh, so you need, and then one man can't carry the whole thing. So each man, like Mark was just saying earlier, specializes in something. And as I said, again, it, the individual, in, that's what's nice about um, just the dancing is because it mm. gives, we're all different and it gives you that chance to find your own individual move that no one else can't do, you know what I mean? And that's what you work on and that's what the, the crew brings. So each man's got their own move and together you're stronger in... In numbers, yeah. Yeah, and stronger yeah, in numbers, yeah, you know, yeah, so... Numbers, yeah. You've got your comradeship, you yeah, know, company. Yeah. I think it was more for a family unit, um, fun, um, growing up, learning different strength, skills. I think it was more of that. Mate, well, I don't know. I, just, I suppose the, the guys that we used to hang out with, we were all quite fit guys. We used to do a bit of martial arts. We all went, we all went to the same youth club. We, 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 you know, we all loved dancing. So, you know, as soon as break dancing came out, we was all on it, all on it. So, you know, we'd practice around my friend's garage. When Union Club was closed, yeah, we would get the cardboard out in the early days, yeah. But then, you know, we got, we bought ourselves a nice bit of lino, and you know, if the Union Club was closed, we'd, we'd always be practicing around the back of his house, you know. So it was a, it was a, not a 24-hour thing, but every day, it was an everyday thing. Yeah, definitely, yeah. As 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 Warren was saying, um, we're forming a, a crew. It's like it's like tribalhood now. Yeah. You're dealing with tribalhood now. That's what, if you think of what's happening in, in the streets, even before that stage, you had gang formation, even like today, yeah. but for the wrong reasons, right? Then we had gang formation. As Warren was saying, it's bringing together a group of people, or, or a group of brothers with, with, this, with a similar interest. Uh -huh. And it's, it's that bond that, uh, that you find, if you like, in tribal shit. So it's like, you're moving together as a crew, you represent something. You all look the same, um, like Warren was saying, but you're all, we all, each individual might have had a special move that we had, that you would have been known for. And that is a move that you, when the time comes for you to challenge another group, yeah, or dance against and reverse another group, then you know that's the move that you was known for. Uh, so that is, that is really the, the reason behind having the crew of being a part of. Of, of a crew. North London was kind of, all crews in North London was kind of friendly around here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Many, many crews over, over here like Soul Sonic Force, Double Action Jammers, Street Rockers, mm. um, Breakazoids, Jedis. It was just fusion. this. Fusion crew. You yeah, fusion crew. Them. You know what I mean? Yeah, fusion. <laughs> That's Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. That's Tottenham still in. Yeah. Fusion crew, you know. And we've got to we, talk we, about them. Yeah, we will talk about <laughs> them, man. But, you know, I mean, as a crew, if this, if this subject is about a crew, this is where um, the whole show gets more bigger. You know what I mean? Everyone has their kind of turns and all that. But, yeah, Fusion you crew know, was... Crew. It's basically, it's young people expressing themselves. We had an it's outlet right. to express ourselves and everybody jumped on it. You know what I mean? Everybody wanted to break. And then it spread like wildfire. So it was mostly from school because, as I said, all of us, Derek, Franklin, Paul, Clark, my brother, Flexi and Hallett, that was, that was our crew. And maybe, maybe the girl in the crew, I'm not, I wasn't sure, I can't rem remember if she actually stayed with us. But um, we were all at the school here, stationers, and the majority of the time we were always together, always together. If we weren't at school, Soon after school, even sometimes in our school uniform, we're down at the garage, do you know what I mean? Linking up and, and, and doing things down there, you know, either doing uh, martial art forms and then also or doing break dancing, do you know what I mean? There wasn't a lot of crew, you know, namely, you have to say, Street Rockers was a crew, uh, Breakazoids. Um, I can't remember any other crews read because we were just out every day battling, training. We were just, all the other crews in our area, we were friends with them, so we didn't really want to battle them. They was like extended family members, you know. We knew each other from, from growing up in the area, because Hornsey, you know, is a tight-knit tight community, you know, so. 
we don't have no problems with anybody in our crew you know, in the area, but everybody outside, yeah. So can you name the other members of the crew? Do you know their names? Oh, or? Carl, man. I know, of course I know their names, but to remember their breakdancing names is going to be quite difficult, yeah? Didn't really know them. Didn't really know them like um, street workers. Okay. We knew them as they was our enemies because yes. they knew us because we was a dancing crew. Of course. Yeah. But we didn't know them like street workers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they were like, they, for us, they were like. Um, the, it was the baby generation. Yeah. Of you. We, we were the second generation coming through. Yeah. Where well, you guys were the first generation. Yeah. So what about Warren and Anderson and all them? Uh, what was their crew? You think about, the thing about Warren and Anderson, uh, Warren, oh, I, for, I forgot about that. The thing what happened to them now, um, Warren, um, Wiz, Mark Anderson, and Dave Belgrave, isn't it? That was the three people who I, I, I knew. Um, and there's a, another guy called Anthony Edwards. Warren was the first one I, I Warren was the first one I see and do windmill. And for him being so advanced, he got scooped up and was touring around Europe. And the, his, his crew called Breaker's Eyes, right? It was only left with Mark and these two other top, Tottenham guys. I mean, my friend was Mark, because he, he, he lives around the way. But as I say, um, Dave Belgrave, um, Mark Anderson, and Warren was touring in, a, in, in a, the whole of Europe. So it only left Mark to defend it. So Mark used to come in our crew to, you know, to practice. So it was just a sad thing because Mark was just by himself and they were a, a good unit, but he's free. Free Breakers uh, uh, was touring in Europe, so you know it was. Everybody knew about the Breaker size, but our name was so fluent because we was doing this, doing that, and doing that. Sorry about that. I left out the Breaker size because, and sorry that I left out my um, uh, Warren because he was the first one to do the, the, the windmill. Um, it, was good, it was good to be in a, a part of a crew. It was like a, a little army, a force of people. It's, it's stronger, do you know what I mean? We had like certain strong forces that like, do you know, Franklin was like the leader, of the, you know what I mean? Uh, Flash Legs, he's the leader, kind of, because he used to get all of us together and stuff and be like the driving force, one of the driving, one of the main driving forces. But um, yeah, get us all practicing, you know what I mean? Or else, or else it's, <laughs> it's, it's him and us, you know? But no, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really good to be a part of that, a part of the crew and um, everybody was like, yeah, just protecting each other, just, you know, when we were in battles, we'd always win because we always had back. We always had a, a man who specialised in a, in a certain move. If someone came from another crew and bust like a head spin, I would deal with them. If they bust like a turtle, Kelvin would deal with them, Rico. Um, it, so we, we had specified movers in our crew to, to bust good moves, you know what I mean? So it's much better, it, was, it, it, it meant more to have like a, a force of people. Yeah, brother Ansel, my brother Randolph, brother Franklin, brother Derek, brother Terence, Brother Paul, Brother Hallett, <laughs> and I think I think there was another guy, Flexi. He was a body popper, and a few other guys that came and you know they they stayed for a while, but you know not all of them cut the mustard. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, breaking was definitely. Looking at it now, it definitely kept you fit. Um, you think, if you think of, I guess, uh, maybe it's something that only people involved in it will fully understand. But with breaking, the amount of energy that's involved in learning just one move, say, for example, let's take windmills. I know they're doing a lot more today.
But if you look at what they call windmills, the energy involved in learning to just master windmills, that is, if you think of when you see like top athletics, like if you look at gymnasts, if you look at gymnasts and look, the mm -hmm. kind of discipline that they display in breaking, it's exactly the same thing. Same thing, yeah. Let me tell you now. The same way. It's exactly the same thing. People don't realise. But we're learning it in the streets, so of course it's not going to have the same label that you would have with top gymnasts or gym gymnastics, but it's the same discipline that's required. And yes, it definitely okay. keeps you in tune. Um, there are some moves that you'd have to be careful of, of, of injury. That's, um, no. that's, that's the game. That's, that's the, the game. name of the game. It's named the game. Um, break in, break in. If you think of the, if you think of the name of it, if you think, <laughs> as what I was saying, if you many think of meanings, the name of it, and it many meanings. break dancing. There is a reason why it's called break <laughs> dancing. You do damage yourself when you're learning, so you do have to take that into consideration. Yeah, breaking kept me very fit. Um, I felt alive every morning. I even had to do a couple of uh, moves, turtle moves in the morning strengthened my arms and I went to the gym even to enhance that. Um, yeah, very keep fit and active feeling. Well, we were young, we, we, we were fearless. We didn't have no fear, you know. Um, when we went into something, we went into it 100% to, 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 you know, get that move. So whether it be a turtle or, or a windmill, no hands, above your head, by your feet, we'd, we'd try them out. Practice makes perfect, you know, you do it once or twice, three, four times, you, you get a few knocks, okay, but you get back on, you, you get back into your windmill and then you try it again and before you know it, you're busting windmill with no hands. <laughs> it was like crazy, you know what I mean? But practice makes perfect. Right, yeah, um, most of us was all, all rounders. I mean, Franklin yeah. used to be an all rounder. He used to have a turtle, He's that turtle, hand glide, glide um, head spins, windmills, spins, windmills head spin. yeah, all um, that. And, and, and the twists and shuffles will come after. That's what you call all right. Once you know how to do a turtle, head spins, hand spin, you know what I mean? Then it means you can do the others also. That's yeah. an all rounder. Some people are never bothered with turtle. You know what I mean? Reason why is because in the crew, I had brothers who had, who had turtles. Frank yeah. used to do turtle, Paul Barmore used to do turtle. Uh, Calvin used to do turtle. Randolph used to do turtle. Derek was the strongest in turtle. Yeah, Derek, Derek was. There and was Kelvin Derek, Derek the and Kelvin. Men, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were the turtle specialists. Yeah. I, I wasn't never a turtle specialist. Yeah. Other moves I was doing, but I never really was into turtle so yeah. much. Although yeah. I could do a little bit. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I, I, so I used, to, I used to be in hand spins, windmills, twists, footworks. I was kind of like an all-rounder, but no turtle. Mm, I was. I was. I was a hand glider. Um, all that, everything. Yeah, all that. <laughs> no, we was, we, was, we were strong as a crew. Jedi's crew was strong as Very a crew. Strong. I mean, in later, later moments of the talks, I mean, I, I'll tell you something, man. I mean, one of the first, first crews in this country that I remember is Jedi's, Breakazoid, Sidewalk, mm -hmm. and Zulu Rockers. It weren't mm -hmm. no London All Stars in our era, Live to Break, but it was no other, other crew. Mm -hmm. All I remember was Jedi's crew, right? And I know that as for a fact. Yeah, the as a heavyweight. Yeah, heavyweight. Came out. Coming out of a Kung Fu script and digging into b boying that didn't take long for us to. It's levels, man. It's yeah, levels that's right. in this. b boying it keeps you extremely fit. Extremely. I, when I was young, I was I was super fit because I was fit from doing Kung Fu. You know, press up, sit up, squats, stretching every day. You know, I didn't I didn't I didn't have no. Nobody told me, oh, get up and do push-up. No, I jumped out of my bed straight away in the morning and did my exercises. During the day, it was the same thing. And just before I go to bed, it was the same thing as well. And that just carried on to the b-boying as well. Yeah, breaking and popping helps you stay real fit. Yeah, it's not an easy thing. Even the popping, you know, tune after tune after tune, you're continuously flexing your muscles and um, using your body in a really uh, aerobic way. So yeah, it really keeps you fit. You know, um, uh, well, our purpose was, since we used to do, we used to do martial arts, we was always a, a unit. Um, we was always hanging around with each other. And having a crew made us more of a, let's just say, more of a family 
you a family uh, a family oriented um, but the, the, as I say the, the purpose in the states how they used to uh, the interpretation of uh, having a crew was to keep them out of um, violence and make instead of fighting they do the dancing but as I say, our, 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 our side of things was just, we, we was active anyway, and just just add to our skills. Some of the moves are dangerous, yeah, like I was saying with the, um, it's not dangerous as, in terms of thing. I mean, you can try too hard and probably crook your neck or something in a, in a halo windmill or whatever, whatever, but I don't know, I don't think we we really had any bad injuries as such, you know what I mean? It's just like, we was just, we was just like, I don't know, being careful, but we were busting some dangerous moves as such, but, it, it, you know, it would more be dangerous if we collided whilst we were doing a sequence or whatever. I think one time there was a collide, you know, um, but it weren't a bad one. It weren't, it weren't, this, this was just like, you know, uh, gymnastics or anything like that. It's, it's, it's the same as that kind of thing, physically. Um, some of the times when you see them on the floor, when they do that floor, um, uh, what do they call it? The, 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 when they do the floor in athletics, they've got this uh, flares. You do the flares and they roll around. You know, anything from a forward roll is break dancing. Do you know what I mean? Anything from like footwork on the floor or the splits sometimes, you know, is it's, that's 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 a form of break dancing as well. It all came from, you know, what people saw throughout the years, from like the 1930s, where the jazz dancers they used to like flip around and jump down and do that move where they, they split on the floor. And it's like it all come from that as well as, well as like the b boy just um, dancing and what how what we brought to all that. When it came, when it sort of like came to sort of like that was our only sort of like um, input for breaking was videos. I mean, obviously, when we see these videos from, uh, from well, New York especially, it's like it would inspire us and it would be sort of like, um, it was like our book, do you know what I mean? We would sort of like go, go to, um, go and have a look at these videos and see what they're doing, see what they're wearing, seeing, seeing um, their characters, their, their, their features in their, in their moves and so forth and stuff, do you know what I mean? It wouldn't say that we were following them, it just gave, gave us some ideas. Do you know what I mean? To keep up, keep up the trend of our side of, of breaking, you know? It's like everything. It's like a, a trend, you know what I mean? You, you get back in the days, there was like people wearing farrow, sh farrow trousers and kickers and stuff like that. People keeping up with trend, but with us, it weren't like that. Our, our breaking, our breaking was our trend, you know what I mean? We have to keep up with our breaking and to do that, we have to sort of like keep up with the videos and the, and the, and the high tech and so forth, what was going on in the States. My, my special is was one-legged swipe, turtle was one of my specialties as well. I was pretty good at that because I was light. Um, windmill I was pretty good at, but I, there was there was other guys in the crew that were probably better than me. But I was pretty good at windmill, crazy legs, back spins. Um, yeah, man, things like that, you know. Um. It can be if you if you're not used to you know using your body in a certain way and just think you're gonna dive into doing certain things. I mean like when it first came out in the early eighties, you heard of people hurting themselves. There was a, a story where one one young boy he broke his neck trying to head spin and he didn't have no experience at all on head spin. So it it, it can be for untrained people. You see when you when you wanna do something that's new, yeah, right? I remember times when I used to do windmills and I used to hit my kneecaps or my feet on the floor. Yeah. But I was so excited to master the move, I never felt the pain. Yeah. Because I had here. to do it. Yep. Burns. <laughs> That's right. Burns. Yeah, That's right. Probably still scars there right. up to the day. That's right. It was excitement, man. That excitement you know I mean? killed the pain. We never recognised no pain. I mean. And you get back on it again right. and um, practice That's again. Right. That's what I remember, I remember, so when I used to, I remember when I used to go to Calvin's house, right? And then when he used to walk me to the bus stop, Right, and we would wait for W3, for me, right? And he would wait for the bus with me till I get on the bus. But we, before the bus came, we used to be so hyped that we were doing windmills 
on the road. Right. On the road. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. how it was. Right. I'm telling that's you, right. man. That's right. Yeah, Kevin remembers that. That's yeah, right. that's how it was. We were so excited. We wouldn't let down. We knew a lot, a lot of cats are involved in this. Yeah. We had no time. We had to achieve yeah. what we had to achieve. We had to seek, yeah. in, seek this information. Yeah. So much of it, we had to observe it here. We had no patience. And yeah, no, we no, had no once patience. Once it was polished up, that's when we hit the road. That's right. You know what helped us in, in, in breaking and hip hop? It's martial arts. That's one of our martial secrets. Arts. One of our Key. secrets. It's two, it's, it's the same thing, <clears throat> but it's, it's different, you know? As I say, we was fit already, because we was always doing martial arts. We was, all, we was either dancing or we was dancing and DJing. And when we saw breaking, the only thing that was different, it was more athletics, it was more gymnastics, more hitting the ground. So there was just, just it, it was just, just the sake of do, being, being confident of doing it. Uh, but it, it, it definitely kept your body in, in tune. Because uh, there was a stage where later on where I was introduced to capoeira, which there's a lot of people have a mixture of opinions about mm -hmm. the origins of, of break dancing. I don't know if that's a question that you wanted to deal with, but uh, it is it's a strong argument when you look at capoeira and the history of capoeira and the moves, when you watch capoeira and some of the moves in capoeira in that Brazilian art form, you're like, mm, I really did lean to that uh, a, a lot. We, we both did, a few of us did. And uh, that plays an important role in us keeping fit, even after breaking as well. But I let Warren answer that, that, that question as well. Um, like I said, we was growing up doing a lot of these acti um, a lot of different activities. So um, I didn't even think of it at that time of keeping fit. It was just yeah. something we just did. It was just in German. It was just like the next level, mm. um, dangerous. Like we said, it's breaking, and to learn something, you're gonna have to give up something. And um, that's all I could really say. Um, like hearing, I mean, there was like, um, like some hearing about someone did a head spin and they broke their neck and that, but never seen it. I've seen some accidents, but not that many for what people are doing, not that many, just scratches and bruises. Well, I can't really, I should say, well, I've had an operation. A couple of men I know has had operations on the knees, shoulders, but. That's, but that's, that's what you have to give for your art, you know? Mm. No pain, no gain. Mm. Mm. Of course, man, breaking. Hint the word breaking, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, I was tired. if I remember rightly, someone got killed um, doing, a, doing a head spin in, in the States. I don't know if it was in the States or here, but yeah, it kept us well fit. And besides, we were fit from our martial art days as well, do you know what I mean? It's, um, yeah, and you, you obviously have to be flexible as well, do you know? So yeah, it kept us fit. Kept us fit. We always, we always, um, sort of like in in shape anyway. Do you know what I mean? So um, breaking, yeah, kept you fit and dangerous moves. I wouldn't, me personally, I would. I, I tried to attempt um, head spin once, and my neck didn't say. My, my neck was literally saying, "Ran, forget that. You're not doing that because you're going to break in it." So I thought, all right, I'll only do the moves that I could actually be comfortable with. Do you know what I mean? So it depends on the individual. If you want to sort of like do, go ahead and do dangerous break dancing moves, then you go ahead and do that. And all, all, all good for you, because if you, if you conquer it, you're a legend, do you know what I mean? If you don't, you're, you're crippled or you're dead. <laughs> well, you know, as I look back at it, you know, it's about an individual. If you are, if you're an individual person who likes to dare yourself, challenge yourself, you would do the head spin. You would do the windmill. Um, if you're not that creative and you want to be just petite and develop just footwork, um, your backspin. So it's down to an individual thing. If you, if as I say, if 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 your spirit is a person what was very outrageous, the moves the moves will get you. You want to do the you want to do you want to develop yourself into the most creative moves out there. Yeah, um I remember oh did I mention sub four Derek Riley? I did I mentioned Derek Riley, yeah didn't I? He was sub four. He was a turtle specialist as well. His turtle was very good. Yeah I think you know the fact that he was good kept me, you know I wanted to be just as good, you know? 
because I did. I really like the turtle. So David was very good at the turtle. Um, who, who would I say was really good at the windmill? Hmm. We were all we we were all good at the windmill. You know, everyone specialised in certain different windmills. You know, but they were they were all good. Franklin had some really good windmill techniques. Hallett had some good techniques. Terence had some really good techniques. And we all Paul had techniques. Randall, we all had good techniques. You know, everyone was individual, but good in their own way. You know. More people hate me, don't love me. Heaven above me, even God cost me for rapping, cause he don't like ugly. I love for these sultry women, sending his pure pleasure. Even when they act like to be a hate word, you gotta respect her. Hex marks the generation of the degenerate rapper. Paranoid, like afraid of the backstabbers. 